don't even get me started on availability and distribution of action figures. The whole process totally bloody sucks. They'll probably never show up on toy shelves, but I got these two new classifieds. So let's open them together. Up next on PopCon. Welcome back to PopCon, everybody. I am your Gen X host, Victor. And since I was there the first time around, I cannot wait to get another real American hero and a Cobra villain on my G.I. Joe classified uh, toy collection behind me. So I'm very excited to finally have Storm Shadow. I do have the original Snake Eyes from G.I. Joe classified, and it's amazing how long this took to actually be released. Now, I realized that classified wanted to capitalize on the Storm Shadow or Snake Eyes live action film. So they put those out first, but we can see where that went. Peg warmer. All right, we also have, of course, this fantastic hero, Spirit and his uh, bald eagle freedom. So I'm super excited to get this. He looks fantastic. And these guys have great artwork. We know that. So we're gonna take a closer look at these packages right now. Let's get it on. Here we go. The back art is an updated version of the art from the past with additional characters that have been announced. The side art still has all those symbols that I don't quite understand. Maybe you guys can tell me. But Storm Shadow is the 35th in the series, and this is definitely Storm Shadow from the original Real American Hero series. You can tell by his look and his accessories, this is not the movie. In the corner of the box is artwork by Yuko Shimizu, and she has a beautiful style all her own, and you can see it in that sketchy kind of look for Storm Shadow she has on the front that carries off onto the side panel as well with the additional artwork of Storm Shadow on the top. Simply gorgeous stuff. Now, number 36 in the uh, the classified wave is Spirit, or Spirit Iron Knife, his full name. Here, that side panel has those other uh, graphics, but here he is. Already you can tell the detail and a true evolution of the original character. You see freedom in the box as well, along with the um, accessories. But this artwork done by Jeffrey Varigay, who has a great talent for bringing the uh, Pacific Northwest or the Native American cultural artwork style to his illustrations and comics. Very stylized artwork of the character on the side panel as well, and I do think it's fantastic. Isn't that artwork incredible? I love looking at it and how they're each different and they use different artists for it. So something that slips by a lot of people out there, but um, I think it's wonderful and we should notice it, but I'm not a box saver, so here we are. And I know how much trouble getting into some of these boxes to get to that prize inside can be, so I already prepped it. But anyway, let's take a close look at Storm Shadow here. Wow, he has got a lot going on. There's even the extra hood. He's got his weapons. Already, I'm loving the face. I'm loving that face, so I cannot wait to uh, get in here and get a closer look. And of course, I can't wait to get into here as well. So we've seen the boxes, those aren't gonna stick around, but for everyone's sake, I do wanna show us Spirit, or Spirit Iron Knife. They are using the full name that was occasionally used throughout the multimedia of G.I. Joe, but Spirit and Freedom the Bird. Now that bird looks so articulate as well. I'm excited to get him out of here. Um, looks like he's got his separate wings, we saw that. so. That'll be nice. We've got wings for outspread, and we've got wings for um, when he's kind of at rest. Let's take a closer look. It's time for Carousel. This is Spirit Iron Knife with his companion, Freedom. He was a real original um, uh, G.I. Joe, real American hero. He's a beautifully stoic and detailed face. I love that Freedom has these outstretched wings as an alternative. We see the weapons of a dagger, even a pistol, and a rifle. His file card originally called him a tracker. He was a very important character in the original cartoon in the 80s. Backpacks were also important. Even Cobra Commander had one, and that one has a perch for Freedom to be on. Now, the articulation of G.I. Joe Classified is truly uh, top notch from everywhere from the shoulders to the arms. They definitely have that uh, wrist and the battle grip and the arm swivel, the double knee joints, the head moves all different directions and his braids don't even get in the way. The chest and the waist as well. So really can get him into some fantastic poses like this. And here you see the holster on the side for his pistol, but I have put freedom in uh, a different pose on, on his arms where there is some pegs in Spirit's arms to put him there. Also changed out his uh, wings. He is articulate, the bird itself, the legs, the wings, and his head, which is wonderful. And Spirit looks fantastic. The very beautiful look of his hair and his face, his coloring, um, is sensational, and I really think this figure does a great homage. For our Cobra villain, Ninja, whose file card states he's a ninja uh, warrior, I mean, and that's what he is. That's truly what he is, however you think of that. This great accessory, this hood, is fantastic. It has a great look. He also has a bow and arrows in the back. Now the arrow, one of them can come out, is loose to be used in the bow. And I love the quiver, which is like his backpack, and includes his emblem 
on the back as well. And two swords that easily are removed to be put into his hands for other poses. He has the same pose ability and beautiful, beautiful costume all the way down to those feet covers that have that kind of separate little toe hold uh, that you would see in some Japanese traditional clothing. The bow can fit easily on his back and now you see his hood in the down position. So there, there are two separate pieces, no, so it may be easily to be lost, but he still looks the part, looks uh, fantastic like his true, a real American hero, Cobra villain character that we all know and love and we really wanted. Hey everybody, it's Victor. We'll get right back to the show, but if you're like me, and I think you are, you love favorite franchises made famous in the 1980s. Now, PopCon is a lot more than toy reveals, but if you're here for that, there's plenty. And I really am asking for your help. Click that like button right now. It makes sure that YouTube knows that this show, this video, needs to get out there to other like-minded viewers like us. And while you're there, click subscribe. Comment about what your favorite G.I. Joes are, if you're collecting the G.I. Joe classified and which ones you already have. Well, thanks for being here on the show, and let's go. It's time for my favorite part, the comparison, as this is a modern day version of the original Storm Shadow. I like to show what he looked like in the animated show because of course, that's what we had in our mind as well as the look of the action figure we owned. So here he is also in his original incarnation of the real American hero, uh, Storm Shadow action figure uh, from the Cobra villains. Now, he's had a lot of incarnations over the years. He's even been in a few live action movies, including his own Snake Eyes movie. I guess that was really Snake Eyes film, but Storm Shadow was in it quite prominently. So he's had very different variations, but I love to compare those early 80s action figures here all the way to what we have today. Huge difference and I love them. And how did our tracker look originally? Well, here we go. Here's what he looked like in the animated uh, TV show. As a matter of fact, there was a lot of times that Spirit and Storm Shadow went against each other, so I really like that sort of conflict. But here we have Freedom and Spirit in their animated form, and here we have them in that really 1980s early action figure look. We can see him in package and outside of it. You can see all the accessories he had, but you can also see the technology. The 80s wasn't quite there yet like we have today. So really like to compare that. Now, Spirit did have a few other incarnations. He hasn't been as um, prominent in the live action G.I. Joe movies for obvious modern day reasons, but we still love the character, all of us. And as a kid, I loved seeing a Native American on cartoon. Uh, in, in my face on TV, it made me really think of them, remember these characters, know that they existed, and was so happy he was part of the team. But we can't ignore that Spirit was part of one of those famous G.I. Joe PSAs. Boy, what a great campsite. Yeah, here's more wood for the fire. Yeah, my balls are on fire. Run for the stream. Don't run. Here, let me wrap this around you. You okay? Lucky thing you were around, Spirit. Lucky thing you didn't run. Remember, running only makes the fire worse. If your clothes catch fire, wrap yourself in a rug or blanket. And roll on the ground to smother the flames. Now we know. And knowing is half the battle. G.I. Joe! Yeah, so the speech pattern they gave Spirit is a little more Tarzan-like than uh, is probably appropriate. Now, we certainly have come a long way, and that wouldn't happen today, but the representation was there, and we were really happy to have him. Well, I want to make sure you see some more poses, some more um, pictures of these great action figures. Now, again, I said that these two were often pitted against one another in the cartoon, which was awesome. They had very prominent roles in the cartoon. Spirit more in the first version than the second, but Storm Shadow throughout. So beautiful looking characters, great action figures today. These are wonderful classifieds and as troubling as it is to order to get the classified action uh, figures, how difficult it is that Hasbro doesn't understand as collectors. All that aside, really happy to have you join my collection on the PopCon toy shelf. So let's take a look at my collection as it is right now as a whole. I'm running away because my folks don't understand YouTube. Have they tried PopCon? I don't know. Would I like it? Sure. Your parents are from the 80s, aren't they? Shipwreck! Isn't it better to watch PopCon together than run away from your problems? I could try to get them to watch with me. Yeah, try watching together. Remember, not only watch, subscribe. Now I know. And, and knowing, knowing is half the battle. Well, that collection is certainly growing, and I love it. I love how robust it's getting, and there's so many more. I've got Dusty and Zorana and Stalker and the Crimson Tint Twins and Mindbender and so many more to collect, so that is certainly growing. Do you like it? How about you? Do you collect G.I. Joe Classified? Let me know in the comments who is your favorite. I thought these two looked awesome, and they're great additions, of course. Just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Now, did you click that like 
please help me click that like let other people see this video see this content and enjoy our community on popcon powered by generation x and while you're there don't forget to subscribe to popcon i'll salute to all pop culture but mostly the 80s and stick around stay tuned if you haven't checked out my other shows make sure to do that for some other reveals and uh until next time